Okay, so now what we want to do is you see this string? It has I want a Malakli dog, right? So we're going to reverse the order of the characters, but we're going to keep the same order of the words. Think about that. Think about the logic of that. What we want to do is we want to, I guess the order of logic would be to break this down into components, right? I, and then it would be an array. I is the first one, want is the second one, is the second item, A is the third item, et cetera, right? And then for each character, we reverse the order, right? And then we join them. And then we cast it as a string. We cast that array as a string. Okay? Or you can just cast it as a string. I don't even think you really have to join it, really. Well, you do have to join it because they have to be, they have to be joined by a separator, right? They have to be joined by a separator and then cast as a string. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm creating an extension on string, right? We're gonna say uh, func reverse order. And I think it's always good to like get the logic of what you're gonna do. Reverse order of characters in Word. Like I said, the first step, and you can write this down, right? Write it down, bro. Now review review the video if you got to, okay? But it's good to kind of like get the order of operations that you're gonna use in your mind. How are you gonna go about this? Otherwise, man, you'd be you'd be wasting so much time spinning your wheels, right? So again, so what we want to do is um, get this this word right here, self. And we need to break this down into components. We need to break this down to an array, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Let words equal um, self dot components separated by, that's right, separated by dot white spaces and new lines. Now we have words, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to create another variable output, right? Instead of looping through this, we're not going to loop through it. We could loop through it, right? Well, we'll go through the loop option after this, right? But in the meantime, we'll say output, we're going to say is um, self, I mean, words, dot map. This is how you map. We use our map. I, I get rid of all that and I just put this, right? dollar sign zero that's for every character dot reversed right period now you have an array where everything is reversed okay it's reversed now i'm gonna say um let joined right joined output equal output dot joined, right? And you're gonna join it by the separator of this. That's gonna be a separator, right? Now, now that that's joined, we're gonna say joined output and we're gonna say, and of course, here's what I want you to do too, return. Oh. If you ever have problems seeing what's going on in your code, just, I mean, run it, right? Run it to see what values are what, right? Joined output, right? Let's see, words dot reversed in Word, and we're gonna do this. So, 
So on this point, you can't really see it, right? You're going to say string, right? We're going to cast this as a string because this is just an array, a reverse collection, right? We want to see what it looks like as a string, right? I snow, uh, blah, 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 dot, God. These words are in order, but the characters are backwards. And this should be our output right here, X. And we can kind of do the same thing again, right? So I'm going to say reverse order characters with loop. Right? Reversed order with loop return a string. Right? And we're going to say this again, we're going to let words equal self dot components separated by white spaces and new lines um right so for item in um out in words right in words I'm gonna say let output put equal um, um crap. Uh, let me see. See, you wanna see the item string. Okay, so it's a string, right? Right, and let's say outputs dot append because strings have append properties as well, right? And then I can say item dot reversed reverse character right plus string right and that's what we're gonna do right Right, and so why did I make this a let? Hmm? I don't know why I did that. Right, so now I'll put this and now I can say return output. Return output. And it's the same thing, right? So I did it with the loop. So you did it with a loop and you did it with a map function. Um, if you gotta go back and break this down, go back, break it down. And I am on to the next.